Hello and welcome to the Total Entertainment Podcast with me, Paul Collis. Today, we're going to take a look at Rachel Anson, who was supporting Stormzy on his on his 2022 tour. Let's get straight on this, shall we? And we're back. Who is Stormzy's sister? And that is Rachel Anson. Finding information on Rachel Anson has been very difficult. I've got a feeling that she just doesn't want the world to know her business, which uh, if I can respect that. There's nothing I could find about her on uh, the usual sources such as Wikipedia. And there's some sketchy information on uh, Google. So I've just got a uh, little bit of info that I've managed to cobble together from an article that I found and uh, whatever I can see on her social media pages. So let's have a look. Stormzy actually has two sisters but one who has been in the spotlight in the past is Rachel Anson and she is a DJ. She did an interview with with WRD Mag back in uh, December in 2019 when discussing her time at Foundation FM. In the scene, Rachel is also known as the Rave Destroyer and has been impressing with her craft for a couple of years now. She has already supported the likes of Kofi and we suspect 2020 will be her biggest year yet. During the interview, she added some light on her beginnings as a DJ too. I probably couldn't tell you the main song for the entry point, but it would be dancehall songs that I would play through the aux cable like Beanie Man, Who Am I? UK Funky was also very important in terms of my entry into DJing. You can follow Rachel Anson on Instagram, at Rachel Anson, and from the time of this article she has 5,780 followers. You can also find a selection of her work on Mixcloud, which is also linked in her Insta bio. There, is, there are a bunch of great snaps and posts there for you to have a look at. So let's actually take a look at what's going on her uh, Instagram page. So currently, she's only done 52 posts on Instagram and has 6,935 followers and is following 1,424 people. And as I said, it's got links to her uh, Apple and uh, stuff like that. She's got some uh, video shorts on there as well. Yeah, so your usual stuff you'd find on uh, social media there. So I found a few of her tracks. For obvious copyright reasons, I can't play them. But I'm sure that once uh, the show is up and running, I'll be able to give you my take on Rachel, on Rachel Anson. But other than that, there is not much I can find background-wise. And is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? No, it, it's a good thing because she decides to keep her personal life to herself, which I can totally respect because everyone deserves to have a private life anyways we'll be back after this so not only does Master X Media have a series of podcasts but we also have a series of books the first book is actually two books it's volume one and volume two of a tribute to working at sea the best fiction is based on truth. This is a compilation of short stories, rants and poems loosely based on the author's experience at working on a cruise ship. Some of these stories are based on actual events but highly exaggerated, whilst other stories are pure fiction. The title of the book A Tribute To is fitting with the tone of the book because, like a tribute act, it is a blatant altered reality where you can enjoy it knowing it's not quite the truth. There are things of alcoholism which used to be highly prevalent within workers in the cruise industry as well as stories with a sexual nature. So sit down, relax and enjoy the ride of A Tribute to Working at Sea Volumes 1 and 2. All of these books are available on Amazon and are available in paperback and on Kindle and the links for all these books are in the description below. And we're back, and it's confession time. It's now the next day. It's the morning after the Stormzy event, and what a good show that was. But first of all, let's get started with uh, Rachel Anson. You might hear my dog in the background. Hey, Agamemnon, wait, I'll take you out in a bit. So, Rachel Anson was set down stage centre and was joined 
on stage by an MC that was that was helping to G up the crowd. She started warming up the audience with classics from the 80,000s with songs from DMX, Fatboy Scoop, Ja Rule and Little Kim, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kanye West and many, many others. All the songs played by uh, Rachel Hansen in this section were uh, little snippets. I mean, this is the first like 15 minutes where she was just uh, just where she was just playing little snippets, and you had the MC who, unfortunately, I couldn't find out who that MC was, but he was uh, a big guy, great stage presence. I mean, awesome stage presence. I just wish I knew who it was. Um, Obviously, if you were a fan of Stormzy or even Rachel Anson, you probably would know who this MC is. But unfortunately for me, not being a fan and first time hearing a Stormzy song, let alone uh, seeing his show live, I just didn't have a, have a clue. I'm quite embarrassed to say that, actually. Anyways, so the MC was geeing up the crowd, getting the crowd real lively, real pumping and whatnot and it's not often that you actually get a warm-up artist that is really going for it to get to g up the crowd before the main act goes on unfortunately like the other day where uh, the support just fell on deaf ears where today no they were lapping it up they were enjoying it the uh, main part of these uh, songs that they're playing the snippets of the mc was uh, going over lyrics the audience were going over lyrics they were swaying, they were jumping, they were bouncing, and at some point they were even dancing as well, but that was later on when the main DJ set started up. Lighting wise, it was just your bog standard dark blue wash with a little bit of side lighting to light up the MC and Rachel Anson. And they didn't need any more than that. They wanted to keep everything an absolute surprise for Stormzy because because of the type of lights and equipment that he, that he had, if they gave any other lights other than a standard static wash it just wouldn't have worked it would have given away the game it would have given away the fact that he's got all these expensive pieces of equipment which give off some amazing effects they didn't want to ruin the surprise especially especially being the first day of the tour and they didn't want to ruin it for people later on which I can totally appreciate I really appreciate that even with the bare minimum tech behind her, Rachel Anson managed to have the entire crowd eating at the palm of her hands, along with that MC as well. Yeah, that they the, the crowd loved it. Between the MC and Rachel, they both had some serious stage presence. Between them. I mean, I mean, they they were right on it. They were seriously seriously on it, and uh, they had every right to be on that stage. Whenever I say that people may be thinking well yeah of course they have the right to be on that stage sometimes uh, people don't have the right to be on a, st on a stage but those two oh my god they were stars in their own right they were they were definitely stars in their own right and definitely had the right to be on Stormzy's stage one thing that has gone through my mind in regards to the MC is it a different MC every night of the tour or is it the same guy and if it's the same guy if anyone can leave a comment in the uh, comment section on who the MC was, then please do because I'd like to uh, have another look at, at this MC's work. Be great. It would be great to know. So overall, how did the audience react? They were singing throughout. They were dancing and bouncing. There was definitely a mutual understanding between the audience, at Rachel Hansen and the MC. They were all on it. They all enjoyed it. And... They just filled the room of energy. Rachel, Rachel Anson and her MC filled the room completely with energy. They were just oozing the stage presence. That, and the audience loved it. They loved it. And uh, in my opinion, they did a 110% job. They did their job properly, professionally. And, they, and once again, that crowd just loved every minute of that set. That is the best hour-long warm-ups I've heard all year, I have to say. It really was. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please hit like, subscribe and share. And we will catch you next time. Bye for now.